slimmer so if you see uh before and after you can see before and after so right now i feel it's too much i'm just going to bring it out a little bit and also if you want to make the jaw a little bit um longer just click on this one right here and you're going to bring the jaw down to make it a little bit longer hello youtube my name is tunde victor and welcome back to another amazing video and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use the liquify fitter and i'll be using this image right here i'll be using this image as well and i'll be using this image as well to explain to you guys how to use the liquify fitter so we're going to be starting with this image right here so to use your liquify fitter all you have to do is, is make sure your subject layer is selected now let's say for example you've done your basic adjustment of request separation and you have other layers above your subject layers or other adjustment above your subject layers all you have to do is create a stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and you're going to create a stamp visible layer and everything you did below like let's say your focus separation and everything you did below it's going to open on a new layer for you once your subject layer is selected right here just come to your filter and convert to smart filter so the reason why i converted it to smart filter is so that i can make adjustments to the liquify or any or any filter i add to this um layer right here so let's say i come to my liquify and i make an adjustment like this and i click ok and i want to change this adjustment which i did let me just zoom in and i want to change this adjustment instead of deleting this layer i'll just come to my smart filter double click on this liquify right here and it's going to bring me back to liquify and i can correct the adjustment like this if i feel it's too much so i'm just going to reset all like this right now so once i reset all i'm going to click on ok and you can see i've reset all so make sure you always convert your layer into a smart filter and right now just click on my liquify so once on my liquify tab like this so we have a couple of tools right here for this tutorial i'm just going to be explaining the forward warp tool the pocket tool the blood tool this freeze mask tool and this face tool right here so let's start with the warp tool so if you're using this warp tool make sure your pressure is set to five or below five if possible because if your pressure is set to a higher number if you just make any little adjustment you make it's going to be intense so you can see the adjustment are intense so just make sure you reduce your pressure right here all the way to five or below so i prefer leave my own on five so you can see that if i make an adjustment you can see the um the pressure is really slow and right now i have control over the pressure and i can just make adjustment which i want i'm just going to undo this because obviously it's not looking good to undo your previous step all you have to do is click on ctrl z and what you do it previously is going to undo so to undo everything all you have to do is click on this reset right here and it's going to reset all so how do you use this forward warp tool so first of all make sure your forward warp tool is selected and make sure your pressure is set to five or below and for the size you can either adjust the size of your brush from here or you can use a square bracket key to adjust the size of your brush like this i prefer using my square bracket key to adjust the size of my brush because i can't just come here and just reduce the size of my brush and paint then come here again and increase the size of my brush and paint like that so it's taking a lot of time and for the density right here i prefer to leave it on 50 and the rate is on zero so just make sure your brush settings are right right here so i'll just increase my brush size right now so if i want to use this my forward warp tool i'll just zoom in a bit press z on your keyboard and this zoom icon is going to show and just click to zoom or you can hold ctrl and just press the plus on your keyboard and command and plus if you're using a mac and if you want to zoom out all you have to do is press on ctrl on your keyboard and press on the minus key on your keyboard as well so that's how you zoom in and zoom out I'm just going to be using this forward warp tool right now. So I just click on my forward warp tool and just increase my brush size. So what I'm going to do right now, I want to bring bring out the hip of this image a little bit. And if you're using liquify, don't overdo it. It's just a subtle change to make it look unnatural and beautiful. So I'm just trying to enhance the image to make it look beautiful. And you can always increase and decrease the size of your warp tool if you are doing this. So you just increase and decrease the size of your warp tool. 
so to see your before and after just click on this preview right here to see your before and your after your before and your after so if i overdo this let's say i increase my pressure and i try to overdo it but you can see it's not making the image look good at all you can see what happened to the image so i'm just going to click on ctrl z to undo that like that and bring my pressure back to five so that's how you use the warp tool let's you are retouching an image and you feel the hand are too big all you have to do is click on your warp tool and just bring the parts you want to reduce inside like this you can increase and decrease the brush size according to what you want or you want to add shape to your image if this hand was not here i would have just pushed the waist inside a bit like this but since this hand is here i'm just going to leave it like that so i'm just going to undo that so this is how you use your forward warp tool so once you are done just click on ok and you can see the before this is before using the warp tool and um, this is after using the warp tool in logify so since this is the smart fitter you can always adjust it if you feel it's too much so i'm just going to open liquify again and explain the pocket tool so i'm just going to double click on this my liquify so for the pocket tool let's say so this pocket tool is simply um i can i can also call it a shrink tool so if you want to shrink your image or you face a part of your image is too big you can always shrink it so let me just show you how this tool work let's say i want to shrink or make a part of this um image uh, shrink all i have to do is just increase my pore size and click on the image as you can see it's taking that image inside let's say you want to work on the um tummy of a model you feel the tummy is not looking good and you want to make it look uh, tiny or a little bit smaller so just click on this um pocket right here and just click on the tummy and just don't overdo it if you overdo it it's not going to look good so if i overdo it right now let me just overdo this and you see what will happen so just click once like this you can see it's taking the um belly inside but i feel it's too much right now it's not looking good so i'm just going to undo that so this is how you use this your pocket tool right here and just leave a density on um 50 and you can reduce the rate if you want if you don't want it to affect the image too much you can always reduce the rate so right now i feel it's too much so i'm just going to undo it by clicking on ctrl z to undo until i get that um perfect spot but for this image i don't really need it but if you have an image that needs it all you have to do is use it like that the other two i'm going to be explaining right now is this blood tool right here so this blood tool you know this um pocket to shrink why this blood tool it brings out those shrink so let's say you want to bring bring out the tummy all you have to do is use your blood tool pick on your blood tool and just click and it's going to bring those parts out so just look at what's doing to the image it's bringing those parts that are shrink out like that so this is how you use your blood tool so if you want to make a, a certain part of the place bigger just pick your blood tool and just use it on the part of the place you can see right now you can see our legs right here are looking bigger just look at our hip right here they are looking bigger so if i show you the before and the after you can see those parts of our, our legs are looking bigger so this is how you use your blood tool so once you feel it's okay i'm just going to click on okay but for this particular image i don't really need that blood tool so i'm just going to cancel it so i'll be using this image right here to explain further how to use liquify so you can you can also mask on liquify so i'll just control j to duplicate my layer then i'll cut my filter I'll convert it to smart filter so that i can always make adjustments if i feel i made a mistake so after converting it to smart filter i'll count my liquify i click on liquify so for this image let's say i want to use my warp tool for this image and i don't want it to affect some parts of this image all i have to do is come to my freeze mask so once i click on my freeze mask i'll just paint right here like this so everything i'm doing right here so let me just paint like this so everything i'm doing on this image is not going to be affecting this part that i mask right here so if i mask this part right here and i try to use my warp tool it's not going to work nothing is going to work but if i use it right here let me just increase my pressure so you can see but if i use it right here you can you can see it's working but if i try to use it on this mask area you can see it's not working so to erase your mask all you have to do is pick on this tool right here to erase your mask so just pick on this tool below the mask tool to 
erase your mask out like that let's say i want to push the back of this image in and i don't want it to affect the hand all i have to do is pick my mask tool and just paint on the hand like this and if i use my warp tool to adjust this image you can see everything i'm doing is stopping at it's stopping exactly where this uh, mask starts from it's not affecting this hand at all so if i erase this um tool this mask tool like this you can see it's not affecting the hand but once i raise it and i push this in you can see right now it's affecting the hand so that's how you use your mask tool when you're using liquify so i'll just cancel this so the next one i want to explain i want to explain how you can adjust the face in liquify and i'll be using this image right here so if you want to adjust the eyes and the face or the nose or the lips of your image first of all i'll just create a stamp visible layer if i have adjustment on top of my image or if i don't have adjustment on top of my image i'll just click on ctrl j and i'll duplicate my image because i don't want to do my liquify on the background of my image so i'll just duplicate my image i'll come to my filter again convert to smart filter so once i convert to smart filter i come to my filter i come to my liquify and for the face so this is the face too so just click on it and this uh, um angle or rather this icon right here or these lines right here are going to show on the face but um if you're using a higher version of photoshop like photoshop 2021 or 2022 or you're using a computer a pc or a mac that does not have graphics card you are not going to get this option this option right here is going to be blank if you want to make the face a little bit slimmer once you click on the face or once you put your mask to the face you are going to see these um lines right here on the face so if you want for example i want to make the jaw look a little bit slimmer i'll just push this part of the jaw inside so i'll just click and push it inside and you can see it's making the face look slimmer so if you see uh before and after you can see before and after so right now i feel it's too much i'm just going to bring it out a little bit and also if you want to make the jaw a little bit um longer just click on this one right here and you're going to bring the jaw down to make it a little bit longer if you want to make it a little bit shorter just click and drag it up and it's going to make it a little bit shorter and also for the lips if you want to make it a little bit bigger just click and drag it down you're making the lips a little bit bigger you can drag it up as well you have control over the up and the down button if you want to make it a little bit longer you can drag it like this to make it look a little bit longer if you want to make the lips to go up you can make it go up like this or make it come down to add smile so if you take it that you're adding smile to the image if you take it down like this you add it firm to the image so just play with the five feet and see which one works for you and also for the nose you also have adjustment on the nose you can make the nose a little bit longer or shorter and also a little bit wider or slimmer and for the eyes also you can make it a little bit bigger or a little bit longer a little bit um you can adjust the eyes as you want you can also rotate the eyes as you want so you can also rotate the eyes as you want so you have control over the face once you click on this face without or liquify so let's say i make an adjustment like this so let me just make the face a little bit slimmer like this so for liquify you don't have to overdo it if you overdo it it's not going to be looking realistic it's going to look fake and it's going to look obvious so the goal of liquify is to make sure you do your liquify and don't make it too obvious so that people will not know you use liquify for your image or to edit your pictures so let's say i edited this image like this and i click on ok and right now i realize the lips are looking somehow i don't like the way the lips are looking since this is a smart filter what i have to do is click on my liquify and just come to the lips and adjust it the way i want to make it look good right now let's say this is better i'm just going to click on ok and it's going to change the lips for me so this is the advantage of smart filter so instead of deleting the layer and starting all over again you can just click on liquify and do the smart filter so guys this is how you use liquify and if this video will be helpful to you or you learn anything from this video hit the like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well also if you want to learn how to retouch beauty headshot just click on this video showing on the screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative